Good morning. What's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here on the uh, live stream on this Monday morning, September 27th, 2021, about 9.09 a.m. California time. And the latest quake out here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 2.9 right around the Antelope Valley area in California at the eastern edge of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. A little bit of earthquake activity to talk about overnight, including a 6.0 earthquake striking the Crete region, overnight, this was pretty, uh, when was this? About midnight my time it struck. I got the notification, but man, I was so tired. I was, I was pretty much passed out. Did some damage out there as well. This earthquake struck uh, at about 8.7 kilometers below the surfic, surface. Uh, looks like it struck in the, uh, uh, into a subduction zone. There's a little, uh, article put out here on the uh, tectonic summary from the USGS here on that 6.0. Of course, looking at this historical activity, it's in an, in a uh, region that uh, sees quite a bit of large earthquake activity. A uh, little summary indicates that the uh, M6.0 earthquake near the island of Crete, Greece, occurred as a result of shallow normal faulting focal mechanism solutions for the event indicate rupture occurred on a moderately dipping normal fault either striking towards the northeast or towards the southwest you can see that uh, fault plane solution the location of the earthquake places it near the hellenic subduction zone the depth indicates the event occurred within the overriding Aegean sea plate above the subducting african plate so talks about all the earthquake activity and whatnot. Uh, quite a bit of movement here, folks, historically. So not uncommon to see some large earthquakes within this region of Greece. A lot of deeper earthquake activity up here to the north as well. So did I did hear some damage and whatnot, but uh, good thing it wasn't uh, any larger. There has been a few aftershocks within uh within the epicenter area but also kind of kind of spanning out here as well up to about 10 miles or so away from the main 6.0 earthquake quite a few fours kicking off there in upper four as well within the last um, couple hours it looks like it's kind of a little heightened earthquake activity uh, we did see one last night remember i was doing an update video and yeah, it's not on there now. It must have dropped off the 24-hour uh, glow, but I believe there was a little one uh, within that region that struck. Of course, that area kind of always sees some earthquakes. It just it just goes hand in hand in that area. Looking at the uh, rest of the map here shows uh, just very minimal movement along the Papua New Guinea area down through uh, Vanuatu and the Kermadec Trench, which is a couple fours kicking off there. And some minimal earthquake activity through the Pacific Ring of Fire. Even California, not really seen too much in the terms of uh, 2.5 and above. There is some movement, like I mentioned, around the Antelope Valley area, including that uh, 2.9. And also some further movement along the San Jacinto Fault area. We have been watching a little swarm of activity that kicked off last night, immediately after the update video. You can see some movement here on the earthquake map, showing about 13 earthquakes or so. Uh, right around the caldera region of the Yellowstone National Park area. Most of these all microquakes. Uh, you can get a better view on the over view of the Yellowstone uh, thumbnail images here. Seismograph stations. You can see this thing really ramping up just for about an hour or so. Looks like maybe an hour and a half of uh, some pretty intense earthquakes. Nothing big, but it was a, a massive amount of um, earthquakes there all at once and uh, there's definitely let me tell you there's definitely a lot more than uh, what did they have on here 13 earthquakes 11 earthquakes yes you can, uh, you can pretty much count 11 within the first line of the seismograph reading and then it only intensifies through there it looks like possibly close to 100 uh, or so earthquakes in this region um, w during that short time period Got to remember every single one of these small little spikes are an earthquake, but just very small. Uh, looks like within the last hour, uh, there's been a couple, but things have just kind of died down. It seemed right after that uh, six pointer that struck there in the um, Greece region. It seemed like this was kicking up a lot and then we had that six pointer and it just kind of died off. 
kind of maybe uh kind of maybe it's amazing how stuff can be affected thousands of miles away i don't think it's just coincidence uh let's see what else we got here folks do, 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 do. So yeah, not a, not a whole bunch going on. Uh, we're still watching Puerto Rico. The, all the activities from last night. A little bit of movement along the Puerto Rico Trench up here. We've got two earthquakes. Um, somewhat deep, 30 kilometers for that one. Uh, a little bit more shallower one towards the uh, surface for that 3.3. So just kind of keep an eye on things today, folks. Could be an interesting day once again in the earthquake department. We will see how she goes. Sunspot activity. You haven't really checked that the past couple nights. Looks like there is some sunspots facing us here uh, towards the Earth side. A couple large ones as well. Uh, let's see what we got as uh, far as uh, flare threat. 55% chance for C flare. Uh, only a 5% chance of uh, an M flare. Dynamics of these uh, of these sunspots kind of looking a little sketchy, kind of unorganized. But we'll see uh, if these things pop up or not or intensify. All right, guys, have a good night. I mean, good a good day. Not used to doing an update video this early in the morning. Have a good Monday, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later.